Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Pharma and Commercial Risk Fourth, the European Risk Management Awards. Uh, usually, obviously, we'd be in a huge ballroom with lots of food, wine, and balloons and celebrating, but uh, things uh, a little bit different uh, this year. But welcome to you wherever you are watching us from. My name is Alex Taylor. I've hosted quite a few FAMA events, so uh, I'm delighted to be your host uh, for today. I'm in Paris, and just to say, if the line breaks up, we've all done these uh, virtual things. Um, Adrian Labry from Commercial Risk is on standby to take over in case anything goes wrong. So let's get started. You will probably already be familiar with some of the risk manager finalists that you'll be seeing later in the uh, ceremony live today. As throughout this week, we've been holding live webinars where they've been telling us why they have entered in the awards and what makes it so important to have an opportunity like today to raise the awareness of the vital job that risk managers all do. In case you missed out on the live webinars, you can click on the pre-record section on the event landing page to find interviews with all the risk manager finalists. So do catch up later after the presentation is over, but stay with us till then. One more thing in case you've missed it, although the results are all in for most of the categories uh, this afternoon, one is still open and we're counting on you for this. There is still time to vote for the COVID-19 outbreak special award. To do this, find the voting tab in the chat box on the right-hand side of the platform. So if you haven't done that already, go ahead and vote uh, for your favorite uh, candidates. So in just a few minutes, uh, it'll be time to put you all out of your misery and to reveal who are our winners. Uh, so do please stay right until the end, as we also have a very special announcement later on in the ceremony. But first of all, Let's welcome the joint organizers of uh, this afternoon, Dirk Wegener, who's president of uh, Firma. Hello, guten Tag, Dirk. And Hello. also Adrian Labry from Commercial Risk. Adrian, Hi. you're with us too. Hi. Um, so I'm going to first of all hand over to Firma president Dirk to say a few words. Ladies and gentlemen, colleagues and friends, a warm welcome also from my end. The annual European Risk Management Awards have become a highlight of the year for us. They recognize the talents and skills of individuals while raising the profile of the risk management profession. They recognize outstanding expertise in the risk and insurance industry. However, I would now like to pause and pay tribute to Joe Villet, my immediate predecessor who died on November the 7th. Joe was president of FERMA when we launched the awards. He had chosen leadership, education, and communication as the themes of his presidency, and the awards fit right into this picture. Joe's death prompted an immediate outpouring of messages of appreciation for his enormous contribution to risk management, to FERMA, and to the Belgium Risk Management Association, Belrim. The messages were also full of affection for Joe as a person. I enjoyed the privilege and pleasure to serve as his vice president and deputy president throughout the tenure of his presidency. His leadership of FERMA was a truly European endeavor. And last but certainly not least, to manage this remarkable European diversity of characters comprising the FERMA board. He did that in a superb way. His inspiring and encouraging leadership let us feel personally comfortable as well as appreciated and recognized in what we were doing. He wanted us to act as one team, but also gave us the freedom to explore our own ideas. Joe was a firm believer in the necessity of personal communication, and with his warm and sympathetic voice, he always managed to calm down cultural and conscious bias as well as other emotional ambiguities. Joe, who was also gifted, with his way of bringing people together, of course, enjoyed the past awards ceremonies a lot. He could welcome the proud winners live on stage and afterwards mingle with his FERMA family and friends, always with a smile on his face. The FERMA team 
and the entire European risk manager community are grateful for the time with our dear friend, colleague and comrade, Joe Willett. We miss him. This year, however, the format of the awards is unfortunately different. Today, we are meeting virtually to celebrate the accomplishments of all nominees and winners. I hope that during the past week, you have been able to take part in our live webinars with the nominees of, for three of the Excellence in Risk Management Awards, the COVID-19 Special Award, the Rising Star, and the Risk Manager for the Private Sector of the Year. Replays of these webinars together with interviews with the nominees for the other Excellence and Risk Management Awards will be available on the platform for a week. They are all sources of inspiration. All nominees are passionate about risk management and this year we have all seen in an unprecedented way how important risk management is to the resilience of our organizations. Fama did the survey between September and October, and the vast majority of the more than 300 European risk managers felt that their organizations had been prepared to deal with the pandemic. We could not, however, have anticipated the full impact of governmental lockdowns and other strict control measures on business operations and finances. We know that European risk managers have important contributions to the have made important contributions to the resilience of their organizations during the pandemic. They have gone beyond their normal day-to-day -day activities. Today, we are still in the middle of the pandemic, although we have reasons for optimism. When we could look back from a longer perspective, I think we will see that risk management and risk management tools like business continuity planning will have proved their value in creating resilience. In these challenging times, the insurance industry has a lot to bring to the table. Again, evidenced by the contributions which will be awarded in the Industry Excellent Awards today. It is not just a question of tourist transfer, but it's also highly skilled technical services that they have developed that contribute to our risk assessment and mitigation. I encourage our insurance partners to play an active role in finding solutions for catastrophic risks. We need to work together to strengthen the resilience of our organizations and to take advantage of the green and digital transformations. So let me finish by congratulating all nominees and winners of the 2020 European Risk Management Awards. Of course, well done by all. Adrian, over to you. Thanks a lot, Dirk. Uh, hello and welcome to the European Risk Management Awards 2020 from me. Now, Commercial Risk Europe was created to champion the cause of the corporate risk and insurance management community across Europe. We've always worked very closely with FIRMA and its national member associations across the continent. One key topic that's become increasingly important in recent years has been the need to raise the profile of the profession with the wider business community and the need to show the value that this community can bring. We were therefore delighted to work side by side with FIRMA to launch the annual awards in Brussels back in 2016. As Dirk said, this important event was part of Joe Villett's legacy as FIRMA president. We're proud to work with him. I knew Joe for close to 20 years. He was always willing to help and talk honestly and openly. He is sorely missed. Now, this year's awards has not been easy to create, shifting to the new virtual format, but I'm really proud of the excellent work undertaken by my colleagues and the FIRMA team to make this happen. The awards celebrate high achievement and innovation among the risk management community. They also reward excellence and innovation within the core service provider sector, insurers, brokers, and professional service providers. Now, new for this year, we also recognize excellence in the area of training and education critical area. There are 15 awards in three distinct categories. These are excellence in risk management, industry excellence, and excellence in training and education. There are five new awards for this year's program. And as Alex mentioned, this includes a special award in response to the COVID pandemic. 
This has obviously been the main focus for us all this year, dealing with the crisis as it unfolded, making sure that our businesses could continue through the crisis and preparing for the next phase, adapting the model. Now, this award is still open, as Alex mentioned. Please do vote by using the panel to the right of your screen. Now, before we move on, I'd like to say a big thank you to the judges. Their hard work and rigorous commitment to the process was critical. We've all been incredibly busy during this difficult time, so their input has been a great effort. The entries for each category were judged by three independent panels. These comprised leading risk managers within FIRMA and the national associations, insurance market industry bodies and leading market executives, and academics. The panel decided on a group of worthy finalists for each award and a winner for each category. Now, the judges for this year's awards are displayed on your screens now. I'd also like to thank our sponsors for the awards week and presentation ceremony. Their generous and loyal support, particularly this year, has been crucial to the success of the program. The sponsors for this year's awards are Allianz Global Corporate and Specialty, as our headline partner, AIG, AXA XL, Belfour, Maxis GBN, and Zurich. This year's awards program attracted enormous attention from the moment the entry process opened. We received a record number of entries and you should all be congratulated for your achievements. If you're not shortlisted, that does not mean that you're not a success. I'm advised by the judges that the quality of entries was particularly high this year. It was an extremely difficult task to identify a short list of finalists. So I congratulate you all for taking part. I wish the finalists luck and also thank you, the viewer, for watching and supporting. Thank you and stay safe. Back to you, Alex. Thank you very much indeed to both of you, uh, Dirk and uh, Adrian. And just one more uh, reminder, as Adrian just said, please do vote in the COVID-19 Outbreak Special Award. It's going to be open for another half an hour, another 30 minutes. If you haven't uh, voted yet, you can still do so by clicking on the voting tab next to the chat box on your screen. And to help you make your decision, if you'll still have a few doubts, here's a reminder of the worthy finalists for this very prestigious award. So there we are, and you have 30 minutes, so please do vote. We'll be revealing who the winner is at the end of uh, today's ceremony. So now the moment you've all been waiting for, let's start with the first uh, of our Excellence in Risk Management Awards, and this is the Innovative Insurance Programme of the Year Award. This awards uh, fresh thinking and the innovation that is always required by risk management uh, to achieve excellence to meet the needs of their firm. So let's first of all see who were the finalists. Right, so as you can see, we have the tense of very nervous finalists uh, with us. Just a word, thank you for being with us. Uh, first of all, uh, Pauline Davouspo, uh, hello. Where are you uh, calling us from? Where are you? 
you have to unmute yourself each time. Where are you? Sorry for that. I'm based in Switzerland, in Zurich. Oh, okay, perfect. And what about you, uh, Alex? Where are you calling us from? I'm in uh, Hampshire in the UK. Hampshire in the UK. Okay. And uh, Richard, uh, welcome to you. Where are you, where are you calling us from today? I'm from Cork in Ireland. Cork in Ireland. Uh, okay. We're all very nervous. Very <laughs> okay. Well, let's put you out of your misery and find out who the winner is. <laughs> So obviously, congratulations to the other two, but uh, uh, Pauline, felicitation, you are our first uh, winner. How do you feel? Thank you so much, really. I mean, uh, the, the, the whole project was uh, really from discussing uh, originally from a small um, uh, coverage gaps, and it progressively led to, uh, to uh, a big change in our insurance structure and programs. So thank you, everybody, uh, uh, to the, to the insurers as well uh, for the support, the underwriters, and uh, despite the struggles on the way uh, that we had, we, we, and people telling me that it was not reachable uh, at the end, we did it. And, and also thank you to my team members who supported me. Thank you. Well, congratulations to you. The uh, jury uh, asked me to read out the reasons why you worked very closely this year with your insurance partners to combine two different uh, insurance policies into one unique and combined policy. And you hope that the success story can inspire other risk managers to push the insurance market for innovative approaches which can enhance common practices. I think that's uh, quite a good resume for you, isn't it, Pauline? Yes, exactly, yes. Thank okay, you. perfect. Well, felicitations, congratulations. Thank and, you. Yeah. yeah, there we are. And uh, <laughs> our first winner. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, thank you. Time, thank you. Au revoir. Time now to move on to our next uh, category, which is Emerging Risk Initiative of the Year. This uh, category rewards the innovation displayed by risk managers in achieving excellence to meet the challenges of managing emerging risks through advanced risk initiatives. We're going to meet them in a few minutes, but let's first of all find out who they are, who are the finalists. Here we have our uh, anxious uh, finalists so with us, uh, Gerald Knight. Hi, uh, where are you calling us from? I'm Don from Amsterdam. Oh, uh, we are Avans. Uh, Adam, Adam, uh, where are you? Where are you to, this evening? Just, just outside London. London, okay. And uh, Fernando, hola. Uh, where, where are you calling us from, Fernando? Hi, I'm in, at Madrid, Spain. Ah, okay. When I started this, I will stay. So <laughs> I'm sure you're all very keen to find out uh, who the winner is. So obviously, uh, uh, um, congratulations also to Adam and Fernando. But uh, Gerald, uh, you're the winner. A quick reaction. How do you feel? Uh, very excited and uh, honoured on behalf of my team. And uh, all the thanks go to them and uh, to all the individuals in the business who drove the initiative and, and embraced it. Without them, uh, it wouldn't be successful. Uh, now, the smart risk program that you helped uh, develop has changed your company's perception of uh, managing risk and its enhanced collaboration and has integrated risk management into the company's uh, DNA. That's, uh, that's what we hear. How did you do that? Just a, a quick uh, explanation. 
very much getting engagement and tone from the top early on, uh, understanding uh, through the processes and reviewing the processes that we needed to in, uh, really step change the game uh, and really getting the buy-in. Uh, you've got to be innovative, you've got to be agile and getting that endorsement uh, from the top early on uh, enabled us to really drive the agenda quickly. So innovation, a uh, very, very important uh, aspect, thinking a bit out of the box. Yes, most definitely. Uh, and having the team that really embraced it as well, because uh, they had to do it on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, well, teamwork and innovation. So congratulations once again, and congratulations, obviously, to all uh, the finalists in our second uh, category. Thank you very much, uh, Totin. Let's move on to the next category now, which is collaboration. We're talking about uh, teamwork with Gerald. This is collaboration of the year. This category highlights the importance of risk mitigation through teams working in partnership to foster innovation again in order to meet new risk parameters. So before we meet them, let's find out who are our finalists. So here uh, we have more and more uh, finalists. So uh, thank you for being with us. A nervous moment for you all, I'm sure. Uh, we have uh, Ava and uh, Jacob. Where are you calling us from? Hello, hi. Where are you, both of you? Ava? Uh, we are from Denmark, from Lundbeck. Okay, Jacob, are you in Denmark? Are you in the office next door? Are you? I'm in my own home. We are also uh, working from home with COVID. Okay, I know the feeling. Okay, uh, we also have uh, Pim and uh, Rob. I'm guessing you're uh, somewhere in the Netherlands uh, for us. Where are you, Pim? That's correct. Uh, we are calling in from Amsterdam, Netherlands. Okay, Rob and uh, Hartzik, welcome. And uh, Alexandre were, and uh, Stefan, uh, uh, where are you calling us from, Alexandre? We are joining you from Istanbul. Istanbul, oh, okay. Stefan, you too, you're in Istanbul? Yes, Istanbul, Turkey, in my home. Okay, well, thank you all for being with us. Quite an international uh, teamwork approach. Mm -hmm. Let's find out who the winner is. So there we are. Gefeliciteerd. Uh, uh, can you tell us, uh, Pim and Rob, uh, how do you feel? Exciting. Yeah, excited. Yeah, yeah excited. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's just very exciting. I appreciate the crowd here as well. Exactly. Really exciting. T tell us a little bit about your uh, project, because obviously the judges uh, appreciate it a lot. Why do you think that, uh, what do you think they particularly appreciated? Yeah, so we have been working on uh, on this initiative uh, a few years back, few years back, and uh, really collaborating with all the departments that work on our company's resiliency, also in one platform. So that makes already that you uh, have to co cooperate, and by that, uh, really making the company more resilient. And and it also proves the way we handled the, the COVID crisis. So I think uh, this is really a recognition, for not only for Rob and myself as the drivers, but also. Yeah, to all of those other departments and people involved in this uh, endeavor. Yeah, exactly. So it's really breaking down in the silos and we make it happen. And that's really the recognition of uh, winning this award. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the judges agreed with you because they said that uh, you helped develop uh, a more resilient uh, approach by breaking the department silo uh, approach. And uh, you hope that this initiative might inspire others in the industry. I think that uh, we both agree with that. Yeah, definitely. So it's uh, hopefully indeed inspiring for the others as well. 
and we are always happy to display this uh, what we have uh, what we have performed. So uh, yeah, it's really uh, really great. Okay, but it looks as if there's uh, some champagne waiting for you uh, in the background. Yeah. Of your, uh, yes, yes. 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 <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> uh, congrat oh, my, my goodness, who is this? Yeah. It's, it's very sorry, but I am also very happy. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, well, gefeliciteerd and uh, well earned uh, champagne there. Thank you to and congratulations to both of you. Tot ziens. Uh, goodbye. Let's enjoy your day. Bye-bye. Let's Bye. move on to Bye. the next uh, category, which is rising star of the year. Obviously, a lot of people always uh, look forward to uh, this one. Uh, in this category, the judges were looking to acknowledge the stars of the future and people with a fresh view on the uh, profession. So let's uh, first of all find out who corresponds, who are the finalists. So a familiar face again with the bow tie. Uh, yeah, Kurt, you're still, you haven't changed country since we talked to you 10 seconds ago? No. <laughs> no, no, right, okay. Well, congratulations for being in, in two categories. Uh, we also have uh, Heiko, Heiko, hello. Where are you, uh, Connie? Uh, a bow tie theme going on here, I think. Where, where, yeah, where, we agreed where? Uh, earlier this week, so I just you, wanted to stick to my commitment as well. And I'm actually... <laughs> Okay, where are you? Herzog and Aurach, our headquarter, and um, working from home, as most of people are doing these days. Right, perfect. And also, Rohini, you're not wearing a bow tie. You didn't get the memo. I don't have a bow tie, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and where, where are you calling us from today? I am calling from the Netherlands. The Netherlands, right. Okay, let's find out. Uh, you're all uh, obviously full of promise and so forth. I think this is a very difficult uh, category. Let's find out who the winner is. So there we are, Rahini, uh, the ladies win. Um, uh, what, what's your reaction? Uh, congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. It's It's been an honor to just being considered as a nominee uh, from my side uh, from to you. And to win is uh, absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much. Shall I tell you what the judges said? Uh, Rahim was nominated by Dutch Risk Management Association, NARIM, who say that despite uh, your few years of active experience in risk and insurance management, your performance is always high quality. You successfully manage the risk areas and challenges of insurance claims and risks, and you are continually looking for further opportunities for uh, development. Uh, so you must be uh, always on the lookout for new uh, for new uh, avenues to explore. Yes, of course. The uh, role of risk managers managers could be so much more than what we do already, and we do a lot. Uh, but there are new ways, new technologies at our disposal, and I hope we can uh, tap into them and find the best results for our, for our companies. In which way new technologies, just to, uh, because it's quite exciting to see how uh, the new star of the year is using the new uh, technologies. Uh, what, what, what exactly have you been working on? Well, we've been uh, combining databases, basically, um, and trying to, in, um, uh, uh, to make different databases talk to each other, so to speak. And it's just a start, uh, but we, we, we hope to be... Uh, uh, yeah, well, expanding on this and to get more information uh, from everywhere across the organization. And hopefully we can build 
nice and good risk profiles of each and every location that we have. Perfect. Okay. Well, congratulations. The judges uh, obviously appreciated uh, your uh, approach. So uh, congratulations. I'm sure you'll be celebrating uh, tonight. Yes. Well, well, at home, of but, course, yeah. like everybody. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah. nonetheless, it will be a celebration. Thank you so much. Perfect. Okay. Well, thank you very much and uh, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank okay, you. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> so let's move on now to our next uh, category, which is a new one this year, Public Sector Risk Manager of the Year. Uh, for this award, uh, we are looking for an inspirational master of risk and insurance management for individuals working within the public services and public enterprise sector. So uh, the judges were seeking to recognize and highlight a combination of innovation, risk management, and best practices. So let's meet the finalists. Here they are, quite a group of uh, anxious uh, nominees with us. Uh, let's find out uh, where you are. First of all, uh, Lena, where are, where are you calling us from, Lena? I'm calling from Denmark. Denmark, okay, Denmark. right. Okay, uh, what about you, George, where are you? Sunny Belfast. <laughs> sunny Belfast, okay, <laughs> that's why it's still sunny with you. And uh, Natalia and uh, friends, family, Emily, <laughs> hi, um, calling from London tonight. From London, okay. Uh, right, well, uh, let's uh, put you out of your misery and find out you're all obviously uh, uh, great achievements to be finalists, but let's find out who the winner is. So, Lena, it's you. Congratulations. Congratulations to the others, too. Um, but, Lena, um, a reaction? Oh, I, it, this is incredible. Uh, working with the risk management, I'm very engaged in it. So, it's a, it was a big honor to be amongst the finalists. But, but winning is really incredible for me. It's, um, it's, I, will, I will really cherish this award the rest of my life. Thank you so much. Well, you were nominated by the Danish Risk Management uh, Association, DARIM, for this award, and they said that you have improved knowledge sharing of risk management within Europe by developing networks with peers and relentlessly, I quote, influencing the way peers perceive ERM and insurance management. So quite a relentless uh, uh, approach and also but, but developing networks. Tell us a bit about that. I think it's very important that we work together to get the business forward, to get our um, competences within risk management, to get them developed together. I think uh, working together as a team within the risk management society is so important and to learn what works in other company and what doesn't work. I got a lot out of these networks and I hope they got something out of it working with me as well. Um, I could bring things back from that learning and some things didn't work, I tried something else and shared that with my peers. So it's very important. Well, it looks, uh, Lena, as if they certainly got uh, uh, quite a lot out of working with you because uh, you have uh, won the uh, award. Are you at home? Any plans to celebrate tonight? What are you, what are you going to do? <laughs> yes, I am at home. Uh, and um, my husband and I is uh, having just a dinner at home and hopefully a good glass of red wine afterwards. <laughs> It's totally, uh, totally deserved. So thank you very much indeed. Uh, how do you say congratulations in Danish? Tillukke. Tillukke. Okay, <laughs> right. Well, thank you very much indeed. And congratulations uh, once again. Thank you, Lena. So now let's move on to the next uh, category, which is uh, private sector risk 
manager of the year and this is uh, always one of the most anticipated uh, categories. So for this award, we are seeking to recognize and highlight a combination of innovation, risk management, best practice, and the ability to foresee risks and prevent dangerous end games. So let's meet the finalists. There we are, all on the screen. Uh, so nervous uh, finalists. Congratulations, obviously, to all of you uh, to be the finalists. Anyway, let's find out uh, where you're calling us from. Carlo, where where are you, Carlo? I'm living in Milan, from Milan. Yeah. Uh, buonasera. Buonasera. Uh, buonasera. We uh, also have uh, François. François, vous êtes, uh, où est-ce que vous êtes? I'm close to you. I'm in Versailles, in France. Ah, oh, well, in Paris, so just on, 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 a, a, a small metro uh, journey away. And um, we also have uh, Bernard, where are you calling us from today? Um, I'm calling you from the lovely place Bunnik in the Netherlands. Okay, perfect. Well, uh, I'm sure you want me to get on with and find out who, but congratulations to all of you, but let's find out who the winner is. Eh bien, voilà, Effage, félicitations, François. <laughs> Your reaction? Thank you very much. I'm, I'm very happy. And I want to thank also Carlo and Bernard because it's a great opportunity to meet peers and pharma and commercial risk is really a great event. Thank you. I want to thank all my colleagues and I want to thank also the jury. Uh, it's a big surprise. <laughs> And it's there are really tough times. I hope 2021 will be a better year for everybody. But 2020 was a year for risk manager because it was a good opportunity for us to show what we can bring to our company and in insurance field, but also in risk management and in a PC and a BCP. So it's really a good a good thing. No, I think you've uh, been a, an AMRE member for 20 years and you've got a huge experience in managing insurance programs for uh, major French companies, including Hermès, Nexity, and now Effage. Um, you describe the role of a risk manager uh, as a business partner who supports the changes and innovations of their company and also a, a, a temple guardian, gardien du temple, who uh, reassures the, the top management and helps them to make the right uh, decisions. And on top of this, uh, they have to be courageous, have a free mind, be curious, optimistic, and charismatic. So no big ask then. <laughs> quite a quite a quite a lot of, uh, of of qualities. Yes, of course. But I'm not alone. There is always a team. Uh, I think risk management today is better and better than before because we are recognized and uh, a firma and Amre uh, are good. Uh, association to promote risk management and today i think we are we are we are our place good place in our company close to the ceo just to to help the company to be better in in a, in a difficult world absolutely and what are you doing tonight you as a soirée champagne no i need a rest i'm tired because <laughs> the end is the end of the year is terrible what risk can I need to rest well, for the start of 2021? Absolutely. Well, a bit of champagne. Okay, well, felicitations, very well uh, uh, deserved rest for you uh, and a nice way to Thank end the year with this, uh, this award. Thank you, and also uh, congratulations to the other uh, finalists.
Thank you. Now, as you know, uh, there is still one excellence in risk management category to go, and we are now closing the voting for this, the COVID-19 outbreak uh, special uh, award. So the voting is now uh, closed, and I hope that you manage to vote. We'll find out uh, who uh, won in a few moments. Uh, and now we move on to the uh, category group which recognizes true innovation and excellence amongst the firms that provide valuable support and services to risk and insurance managers. This category group is industry excellence and there are six categories altogether. These categories were open to insurance, broking and service providing firms only and they were designed to reward companies that have truly made a lasting impact on innovation in order to meet their customers' needs. Fostering the themes of partnership and innovation, the winners of these awards were not particularly judged in terms of size or scale, but on their focus on addressing customer requirements through an entrepreneurial culture practice throughout the organization. So let's find out who are the finalists and the winners? So the first category is Insurer Innovation of the Year. And the finalists here are AXA XL for the Parametric Solution, Swiss Recorporate Solutions for the Flow Parametric, and Zurich Insurance Group for the commercial insurance supply chain products. And the winner is... So congratulations to AXA XL for the parametric solution. The insurer designed a parametric insurance solution offering their clients immediate compensation should the water levels on the Rhine drop below a certain threshold. This deal was the first of its kind in Germany and provides clients with automatic financial protection should water levels fall below a predefined threshold. While parametric solutions were introduced to the market some years ago, AXA XL and AXA Climate were the first to apply it to a drop in the water level and offer this solution to a client. The judges commented, this solution shows great collaboration and a real focus on customer service. While parametric cover for water-related events isn't new, the scale of this submission and the level of cover is comprehensive. So, Hessen Glückwunsch, uh, congratulations. Let's move on to the next category, which is Broker Innovation of the Year. And the finalists are Marsh for the Cyber Platform, Renomia for their Business Overview, and Willis Towers Watson for their Captive Modeling Tool. So let's find out who is the winner. So congratulations to Marsh for their cyber platform. Marsh has redefined how companies go about countering the increasing threat deriving from cyber risks thanks to a holistic platform that instantly captures all the relevant risk data surrounding any given company. It then proceeds to build a unique model to quantify their cyber risk exposure. This was the judge's comment. This is a comprehensive tool to capture cyber risk data and for producing relevant reports. Cyber is a highly complex and extremely topical risk, I quote. This was a great solution and a good submission. So let's move on to our third category in this group, which is Emerging Risk Solution of the Year. The finalists here were AXA XL for Cube Risk Innovation Incubator, Beasley for their Cyber Defense for Marine, and risk methods for end-to-end -end supply chain. So let's find out who was the winner.
So congratulations to Beasley for Cyber Defense for Marine. This was in 2019 that Beasley launched an innovative affirmative cyber product designed to provide indemnity and risk management services for vessel owners and operators. The approach is best demonstrated by the launch in May 2019 of BZ Cyber Defense for Marine, which covers physical damage and loss of hire if a vessel's operational capabilities are impacted by a cyber breach. The insurer developed an innovative solution that would help clients to be compliant better protect them from cyber events and take advantage of Beasley's considerable experience in providing indemnity in the event of a cyber breach. Short comment from the judges. This is an interesting and niche innovation. The application of modern technological innovation in cyber risk in marine insurance is beyond the traditional scope of cyber risk in other business lines. So congratulations. To you, our next category is Global Programme Innovation of the Year. And the finalists in this category are Swiss Recorporate Solutions for the One Form Property Policy Wording. We then have TMF Group for IPT Quote and the Zurich Insurance Group for One Stop Shop. So let's find out who is the winner. So congratulations there to Swiss Recorporate uh, Solutions, One Form Property uh, Policy. Uh, One Form is a globally uh, property policy that uses standardized local and master policy wordings to increase contract certainty and to speed up policy issuance. It's embedded into the Insurers International Program Administrator Technology Platform automating master and local policy issuance, which ensures efficiency, compliance, clarity of coverage and alignment between the local and the master policies, which are critical to property customers. What did the judges say? They said this was a true example of global reach with a globally standardized property policy. It's very innovative and a comprehensive program. Further, it covers a holistic view of property insurance there's nothing wrong with something rather conventional done well and improved in an innovative way. And a quote from the uh, judges. So congratulations once again. Let's move now to our next category, which is technology innovation of the year. We're delighted to have as finalists Air Worldwide, the supply chain risk model, financial risk solutions for invest pro TM fund pricing, and finally, Ventive Technology and Takeda, which is a joint entry for the clinical trial certificates. Who was the winner? So congratulations to Ventive Technology and Takeda for that joint entry for their clinical trial certificates. Takeda, as you may know, is a leading pharmaceutical company pioneering clinical trials that are at the very heart of the discovery and development of new treatments. Certificates of insurance are critical to pharmaceutical companies like Takeda. And so they began integrating risk and insurance operations in early 2019 to improve efficiency. In doing so, they recognize an opportunity to speed the delivery of life-saving medicines to patients in need. In less than three months, Takeda, using its captive insurance company, its insurance partner, broke partner, and risk technology vendor, Ventive Technology, developed and deployed an advanced system to streamline and accelerate the management of clinical trials certificates of insurance. The judges comment, this is an excellent and welcome initiative a very innovative research-based risk management tool and a very good example of a collaborative approach to which the technology vendor also played a central role. And we've come already to the final category of this group, which is claims innovation of the year. And our finalists here are Crawford & Company for claims fabric process, 
Descartes' underwriting for Hale Solution and Marsh for their claim smartphone tool. Let's find out who the winner is. So congratulations to Crawford and Company for their claims fabric process. Built as an agile API first technology, Crawford's claims fabric integrates claims data and technology from both internal and external sources to help customers improve the efficiency of the claims process, uncover trends, and use infinite integration to future-proof their programs. By digitizing the first interaction on a claim, Crawford can deploy straight through processing and simplify the claims experience as a whole. The judges commented, Crawford's claims fabric solution is an excellent innovative solution that is comprehensive and integrates people and technology in a way that improves the customer experience. That can only be a good thing, I quote, the performance metrics are extremely encouraging. So congratulations to all of the finalists and to the winners. Now, as Dirk mentioned earlier on, education was one of Joe Willard's strategic views during his presidency of uh, Fama. Fama is now rewarding associations, insurers, brokers, and other providers that are embracing the drive for providing education and training support to risk managements at all stages of their careers. So to promote this effort, we have introduced a new uh, category for this year's awards program. So let's meet the uh, finalists for this award. Right, uh, so I think we have uh, you with us. I see uh, all waiting uh, impatiently. I think we have uh, uh, Anra, Alessandro. Uh, where are you? Uh, where are you calling us from? Good afternoon, uh, from uh, Milano, Italy. Ah, okay, buonasera. So uh, quite a group of you there wearing socially distant masks. Great. Uh, uh, Charlie, uh, I think you're from AIG Europe. Uh, where are you calling us from? Yes, good afternoon to everybody. I'm calling in from uh, Winchester in the UK. That's your real home. That's not a Zoom background. That's a real home. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Looks great. Uh, let's uh, also say hello to uh, uh, Adam from Airmic. I think, Adam, where are you calling yeah. us from? Hello there. I, well, uh, afternoon, everybody. Yes, I'm calling from East Crested in the UK and with a slightly less impressive backdrop than Charlie's. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. Well, uh, congratulations to all of you. Uh, let's put you out of your misery and find out who is the winner. <laughs> so. Gratulazioni. Who would like to uh, say a few uh, words? Uh, well done. Thank you. Thank you. Now we are in three people because this has uh, been a, a massive team effort from uh, uh, all the people from our, our uh, uh, teachers and uh, Maurizio Castelli, the director of our, of our training course. And Chiara Zaccariotto, she's our office manager, and I want also to mention Anna Siani, that she's uh, connected uh, from home, and uh, she's taking care of all the back office and administrative uh, activities of our uh, training courses. I'm very happy that uh, we, we really strongly support uh, the REMAP uh, certification. Uh, and I'm also proud to say that uh, a large uh, number of Italian risk managers are now uh, certified members of, uh, of RIMAP, uh, which is a real important uh, uh, professional certification uh, recognized that leads to 
be more recognized all around. Okay, well, while I'm reading the reason why, maybe you open that champagne. I'm sure we want to see you uh, open it. The ALP. Now, the ALP ANRA Learning Path is a management professional training course launched by ANRA. The five modules of the course focus on the fundamentals of risk and insurance management in the present global business scenario. Permanently evolving, changing, and innovating, ALP continually provides members with opportunities to learn and deepen their professional knowledge. So, uh, per favore, um, you have to drink. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> and uh, I, I, I really offer you some, uh, some uh, good uh, French Accord wine and... Uh, and also, I take the, the opportunity to say Merry Christmas and uh, all we the best be for, for the next year. And I hope to forget this 2020 very soon <laughs> for everybody. Uh, a sensible comment was all. I'm afraid I only got water, but uh, there we are. So, Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. congratulations. Thank you. Obviously, a lot of uh, celebration there. And now, the moment uh, you've all been waiting for, you've been voting live, the results of the COVID-19 outbreak special award are in. So let's have a look and see uh, who are the finalists. So uh, here we have, uh, 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 first of all, Pim Moorman from uh, Royal uh, Phillips. Pim, where are you? I'm in Amsterdam still. Uh, thank you. Oh, in, uh, in Amsterdam. We haven't moved anywhere since, of course. You're at the beginning of the program. Athena uh, from uh, Electrolux. Where are you calling us from, Athena? Hi, good afternoon. I'm in Stockholm, Sweden. Stockholm, it's more and more like the Eurovision Song Contest. Uh, <laughs> yeah, to, uh, <laughs> from uh, the SNCB, Eric, I presume you're somewhere in Belgium. I'm in the birthplace of the famous Belgian beer, Stella Artois, the beautiful city of Leuven. Leuven, ah, oh, right, okay. And uh, last but not least, uh, from Veolia, we have Oliver Wilde. Oliver, where are you calling us from? Hi, everyone, calling from uh, Paris, France. Paris, vous êtes où? Donc, elle, quoi? À, à Paris. <laughs> Moi aussi, donc uh, au centre. Uh, we are, we are, we're, we're quite close. Anyway, so this has been live voting uh, and uh, the suspense. Nobody knows. We're about to find out. Let's reveal the name of the COVID-19 outbreak special uh, award. When I'd just like to say the results were very close, but we can now announce that the winner is... There we are. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, but the voting will speak to all of us. I think, uh, a reaction. Uh, fantastic. Uh, th this is a fantastic recognition of true teamwork, I would say. I'm so honored, uh, overwhelmed. Uh, it's, it's great. It's fantastic. It's been tough, a uh, really tough year, but uh, it's well, been a I, great teamwork. Do you, why do you think uh, your particular uh, initiative uh, got the award? How have you been coping with this, uh, the, the, this very difficult pandemic year? I think for us it has been extra difficult because our company, our newborn company, was to be splitted from our mother earlier this year uh, in um, mid-March. And so we were facing, you know, additional challenges to, to, to cope with that as well. And then we had the pandemic all over, you know, on top of that. So, of course, um, it has been extra challenging. And many of us were new to the company. I was just five months into the into the new company and and so were many of my colleagues as well so just this is an achievement of great teamwork even if we didn't know each other from the start and um, i also it, think it, that it was it has yep. brought you together in a way that perhaps it wouldn't have brought you together if you had yes difficult absolutely it definitely did and and it was also 
um, a show of great force in the sense that our CEO and CFO were giving us carte blanche to you know, manage the crisis the best way we thought we should. So great ma risk management practices and crisis management practices, and you can do anything together. So this is a true, true team effort, I would say. So thank you to all my team and to my company and to management for trusting in us. We have shown that risk managers and risk management can make a difference in a crisis. So thank you so much. I'm very, very happy. I thank see you. you. you I have even have. Champagne. <laughs> you have quite a Christmassy decoration there all together. So yes. Uh, uh, what are you doing tonight? Are you going to have a? I'll celebrate with my family at home, uh, just like everybody else in these times of com of the pandemic. But we will have some really nice dinner together and some champagne with with the family. So thank you, everybody, and thank you, everybody who voted. So this is great. Okay, well, uh, Taksimoke, thank you very much indeed. Taksimoke. <laughs> congratulations uh, to you uh, in uh, Sweden. So, um, very well deserved uh, award. Well, uh, that almost uh, concludes the main awards presentation for this year's ceremony, but don't uh, leave us uh, just yet. We have one uh, more very special award to uh, present. And to give you more information about this, uh, this very last award, uh, please let me invite uh, Adri van der Waart, who is president of NARIM and a respected member of our jury uh, panel uh, to join us. I think uh, he's uh, with us, just coming up on the screen. Uh, hello, Adri. Hello. Hello, Anna. Alex. Hi, right. Uh, now, this year, the members of the jury have decided to uh, award an exceptional prize uh, to an individual uh, who has risk management in their blood and who has greatly contributed uh, to the entire risk management uh, community. Um, can you uh, give us a little bit of insight into why this was important and uh, to, to, to your choice? Yes, Alex, thank you. Uh, this award is indeed a special one, which we as jury have not mentioned before. Therefore, it's a privilege for me to bring this award to stage. This award is for someone who showed during his or her career as an outstanding contribution to the sector, to the profession of risk manager. When he or she has done a providing continuous energy and advice, what we as risk managers should do or not should do in the challenging world of risk and insurance. But always with some distinction, it was provided to the sector and hasn't been seen as or recognized and be granted as an award. During his career, so it is he, he always calls attention to promotion of ERM and risk management in particular. And being that focused risk manager, he has a great achievement in his company by setting up a captive in a family owned business. And overall, he was strongly involved in risk management and its organizations at international level as IFRIMA and FIRMA, and last but not least, Bellrim. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to virtually hand over this award to my appreciated colleague, risk manager. Congratulations. Thank you, Audrey. Thank you. A bit overwhelmed. I was not expected this uh, contribution, but uh, anyhow, uh, thank you for it. Uh, has always been a pleasure for me to work for the uh, sector, for the risk management uh, uh, business, and, and uh, I hope to be able to continue to do so for uh, a number of years. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Thank you again. Good, good feelings about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Certainly, certainly. Uh, I was really surprised. I, I, I didn't expect it at all. So uh, that makes it even uh, uh, even better. Okay. Have your congratulations. Have a nice evening. And by this, hand over to Alex. Thank you. Okay. Well, uh, congratulations uh, once again to you, Carl, and thank you very much uh, indeed, uh, Adri. Well, thank you so much for watching. This is the end of this uh, innovative 
uh, ceremony. It's been uh, amazing to have everybody uh, uh, calling in all through Europe. Uh, thank you uh, very much for staying right uh, to the end and congratulations once again to all the finalists. Really to, to be a finalist was uh, something uh, quite uh, amazing and uh, to the winners of course to uh, this year's European Risk Management Awards. Uh, Next year, we do hope we'll be seeing you in person once again, like in the good old times, uh, at a live gala dinner. But watch this space for more news about that. In the meantime, if you would like to take part in next year's awards uh, ceremony, look out for announcements early next year on how to enter. So once again, thanks very much. Stay safe and have a good evening. Bye.